Yeah, what's going on Achievement Hunters? It is me, Morvi, and I'm here with a brand new guide. Today, we are getting 4,000 gamer score on Gabriel's World. This title has been out for a while, but it has recently got an achievement update. I was about to create an updated guide until I realized I didn't have an original one. So today, I'm going to put a stop to that and bring you a complete walkthrough. This guide's footage is mainly from the PC version, so sadly I don't have many achievement pop-ups, but I am going to be talking you through it the whole time. If you're only after the updated achievements, then please check the description below as I posted all the timestamps there. It is currently £4.59 in the shop, but it is always on sale, so make sure you add it to your wish list. It is also in a bundle of games that includes A Fast Journey, Rabbit Crazy Adventure, Cubix, and Gabriel's World for £13.24. In total, this bundle offers 12,000 gamer score. All the games inside are fairly similar, aside from Cubix, and it just so happens I have a guide for all of them. So if that's up your street, make sure to check that one out. But we are here today for Gabriel's World. We've got a lot to get through, so let's jump straight into it. Okay, so this is Gabriel's World. We're going to hit the new game button, and when we start up, we'll be met with a short cutscene. I know that skip button does look very tempting, but please hold your horses. Once we've watched our cutscene, we'll get our first achievement. So, our first achievement in-game is going to be from the update. When we start the game, we'll see a little timer above Gabriel's head. Simply stand still for 60 seconds and let that timer run out and our achievement hunt is on the way. We'll be bagging ourselves 100G. I will mention here also there is an achievement to get 10 deaths. I don't do it in this run, but as long as you throw yourself down a hole 10 times, you'll get that achievement. Once that achievement has popped, we can start getting into the level. If we hop over the gap, we'll be greeted by two enemies and a bunch of cereal. In total, we need to unalive 10 of these pink little blobs, bagging us another two achievements. So anytime you see one, hop on its head. We also want to collect all the cereal along the way, as we need to collect a total of 600. This does sound like a lot, but the game literally throws bowls of cereal at us, so it's going to be super duper quick. Once we've collected our bounty up top, we can hop down the hole. On the left, you'll see a key behind a wall. Just like Dark Souls, that wall is fake. Hop on through it and we can make our way to the end of the level to the right. Although, before we get to the end, there are a few achievements we can grab on this level. The next achievement to grab is a coin in this spike pit. Jump in and use your double jump to get out, although if you do fall in, the pit only takes one heart from you. This will get our next achievement, my money, for 100g. Straight after you make the gap, above you will see a balloon. Jump into that balloon and you will open up a secret area, getting our next achievement, a party for Gabriel. As we make our way around the map, we'll come across another hole go down it and walk through the wall. This will be where our first collectible is hidden, gaining us another 100G. Please note, this map does have 10 pink enemies on it, so if you kill every single one, you'll get another two achievements. Now, all we need to do is get to the end of the stage. This game does play out very similar to Rabbit's Crazy Adventure, where we need to collect a key and get to the end of the stage. There is also two achievements requiring us to jump 50 and 100 times. This one will come as we're playing through, but I thought I'd mention it as they'll pop up at around level 3, level 4. Make our way to the right hand side and our first rare cereal is in sight. Keep going until you see this demon statue. Match three symbols that glow green and this one lock the cereal below. Go back down, grab that cereal, and our next achievement is all ours. Grab the key by the statue to the right and make your way to the exit.
it's level three and it is time for our first boss. Thankfully, all the bosses in this game are pretty much the same. All we need to do is hop on their head a bunch of times and we can move on. They always drop items from the ceiling, so make sure you dodge them. But we do have three hearts before we perish, so use that to your advantage. It is time for level 4. We do have a couple things to collect on this level. Jump over these few little birdies with stingers. Hmm. Ignore them and we're going to follow this arrow that tells us to go down. We're going to collect the key hidden behind the secret room and then just outside is another coin. In total we need to collect 3 coins but this will be our second one. There is no achievement for collecting 2, only for 1 and 3. So we're going to grab that and we're going to push on. This is the first time we get to meet our new enemy. It's just like the pink blob but this time it's green. Jump on two of these little lads and we'll get our next achievement. We're also going to be collecting our second cereal box and this will get us another new achievement. Once that's popped, all we need to do is hop, skip and jump over to the ending. It is time to get our last coin. As we're pushing through this level, hopping over the spikes and killing our enemies, we'll have the choice to go up or down. Before we go down, we are going up. Follow the path up and then we'll have to backtrack a little bit until you get to the end of the path. The coin is sitting in the air and we'll need to make a jump for it. Once we've grabbed that, we'll get our next achievement. Congratulations. Once you've got that, make your way back to where we went up and now we're going down. On the level below, we're going to go to the far left and make our way through the fake wall. Grab the key and then go to the next level lower. To unlock our next cereal box, we need to go to the far right and interact with the sign. Move the red on top of the top left image and the blue on top of the bottom right image. That'll unlock the cage, and once we've grabbed that box, we'll get our next achievement. Now, all we need to do is finish up that level. It's boss number two time. Now, it is exactly the same as boss number one, but it is a little bit easier. I found this boss to be the easiest, and the little alien was sadly gone before he even turned up. All we need to do is hop on his head a few times, and he's out of here. And then we're on to the next level. And then we can move on to Bowser's Castle. We are now in Bowser's Castle. On this level, we have a couple new achievements on the way. We're going to be pushing all the way to the right hand side and just before we need to go down, Jump up and turn around to grab the key. Now it's time to get two achievements back to back. On the way down the pit, we'll find this orange object floating just to the left, just around here. If we grab that, we'll get our next achievement, Mr. Maker. 
And then just below the orange object, we'll get our next cereal box. Once we've got that and the achievement has popped, we can make our way to the end of the level. It's time to get our next cereal box. We're going to be moving up to the right until we need to drop down. Make sure you grab the key in the top right of the screen before we jump down. And as you make your way down, you'll notice the next box is in the cage. Just before the cage, there is a red button. If you hop on the button, it will open up the cage but if you then stand on the floor, it will close the cage back up. What we need to do is jump on the button and then we need to clear the gap between the button and the box. If done correctly, we can grab the box and get our next achievement. If this is a little bit tough for you, if you make your way down to the next level lower, there is another button. If you press that, it will drop a rock on the original button, making the cage stay open forever. Once you've grabbed that achievement, it's time to finish the level. It's third boss time now. If you don't like Dwayne Johnson, now it's your time to give him a slap. The rock boss is just like the others. Hop on his head and we can move on. There's really nothing else to it. We are now in the Candy Kingdom and it is pretty much plain sailing at this point. From here, all we need to do is collect the remaining cereal boxes and then complete the game. We have two more bosses to push through and we're complete. Once you pick up the key on this level, make your way back up to the level we was previously. And then from there, get to a level above once more and then make your way to the right hand side of the screen. And that's where the next cereal box is. Then, we need to make our way to the end of the stage because it's time to fly a chalky helicopter. So yes, you heard right, we're going on a little flying adventure now. When getting around the obstacles, it's good to bear in mind that the vehicle can touch the obstacles as long as Gabriel doesn't. At the end of this cute version of the damn level of TMNT, we'll be able to pick up our final cereal box. One more rare cereal box to get, three more levels, and we're all complete. We meet our friendly little onion looking monk, and he lets us know we're nearing the end. Rejoice.
boss number three time, and it's the cutest one we face in this game. This little cupcake has a few items floating around it, and they are ready to throw them in our face. But don't you worry, it's the same as before. Bounce on its icing and put the cupcake out of its misery. We are on the final stages now, and by looking around, we are not in Kansas anymore. The change in level design is very strange, although these are some of my favourite levels. They have a bit more of a Super Meat Boy vibe to them. Make sure you have your jumps in order, as these saw blades are a one-shot kill. On this level, we're going to be getting our final cereal box in this game. This level is very linear, so you shouldn't be able to miss it. It is right at the end. This level is exactly the same as the last, but we don't have to pick up anything this time. Again, it is a very linear level. You do get to this one point here where you need to use the tyres to bounce over these gaps. On this part you might notice I come off the bouncy tyre every time I make the jump. This is due to the double jump doesn't seem to want to work if you keep a continuous bounce across all of the tyres. So reset your jump after every gap clear. This is the trickiest part of the level and once you've done that we just need to run to the end. No need for a key for this stage and now it's time for the final boss. final boss time. Now this is a chasing boss. At times it does look like he's really catching up to you but he's designed to do that. As long as you keep up a good pace this one is a doddle. There are a few tricky jumps along the way and I'll be honest it did take me a couple of attempts to remember the harder jumps but once you played it once or twice it's super easy. Once we get to the end the big bad blows up and we get to see our ending cutscene. Turns out the cereal we've been collecting the whole time is made up of people, rich in protein. You'll get the next achievement for completing the game. You've probably noticed we have a couple left to get, but don't worry, we can get them in the menu. The first one might pop during the ending credits, but if it does not, we're going to go to the menu now and click on the credit option. This will show a page of credits and unlock our next achievement. Once that's all done, we're going to back out into the menu and we're going to go into the collectibles menu. First off, we're going to click on the alien statue and this will get us the achievement Mars Attack. And then finally, our last achievement. Click on every item in front of us on the shelf, eating every box of cereal. Once all items have been clicked, we will get our final achievement, Little Destroyer. And that's my guide, all complete and 100% achievements captured. If you're still around, then thank you. If this guide helped you out, or if I put Gabriel's World on your radar, then please hit that like button, and if you want to see more, hit the red. But until next time, I've been Morvi, and I'll see you later. Happy hunting.